Hey everyone, either welcome back or welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a combination update. This video is going to mainly focus on my meditation practice, but I also want to do an update on a little bit of how life is going since I didn't do one for June. So before I get into any more details, time for the intro. Now I know this topic isn't for everybody, but the reason why I talk about it on my channel is because mindfulness is actually one of the ways I manage having migraines and manage IIH as well when it was active. I found that my meditation is one of the biggest changes that I made as a result of having chronic illness. And I find that having a mindfulness practice is just one of those things that has been nothing but really benefits in my life. Now there are some ups and downs to having a mindfulness practice. With mindfulness, you can't really just ignore the problems that come up. The first thing I wanna talk about is how my practice has changed over the past few months. It's about a couple of months ago that I was introduced to a new app that I could use. It's called Simply Awake. Not sponsored in any way, but I use this app as a part of my daily meditations quite often actually because I really enjoy the app. The sessions in there are guided sessions. It This one is free, unlike the one I've talked about before, so there's no membership. It is on Android, I do believe now. It wasn't for the longest time. My practice consists of now doing sessions that last it's about an average of 40 minutes or so. The minimum is 30 minutes. Maximum is usually 45 minutes. I find I can't sit for longer than 45 minutes at this point, but I also have made it so that my sessions would be a reasonable amount of time if I had somewhere to be in the morning. When it comes to the apps I use, I still use the Waking Up app, but I don't do as many daily meditation sessions. So you can do 10 or 20 minute sessions when you're a paying member of the app. Otherwise you pretty much only get access to the timer. Some sessions consist of me using the timer. Sometimes I'm just doing guided. Sometimes I'm just doing some timer, some guided, it depends. So if I do 10 minutes with the timer, I'll either do a 20 minute daily meditation session with it, or I'll go in over to the Simply Awake app and do 10 minutes with the timer on waking up and then a guided session on there. Now those sessions on the Simply Awake app vary between about, I think the s shortest one is about seven or eight minutes and the longest one I think is about 40 some minutes. So if it's a really short session, I'll do longer with the timer and then go and do the session on that app. But if it's around 20 minutes, I'll do a 10 minute session with the timer. So you kind of get the idea here. I mix and match and try to get up to about 40 or 45 minutes total session. Now, if there's a session that I want to do that's about 40 or 45 minutes, I'll just do those guided sessions and not do anything with the timer. This app is free and there's about 50 or so sessions I believe on this app now at least on the iOS version my personal piece of advice with this is to start off with smaller sessions and then work your way up in whatever way you feel comfortable I'm not a guide I'm not a teacher but I found myself that starting small and working up is the best way to do it and you can settle whatever amount of time that you think is ideal for your life. I honestly believe that if you even just do 10 minutes a day, it's amazing where that will take you. So it's not like you need a minimum amount of time to 
get the ideal benefit out of it. It's kind of more so the training that goes on in those sessions. Like you could do multiple sessions a day to work up to 30 minutes if you had to. What I like about the Simply Awake app is that each session is actually titled. So you can pick whatever you wanna focus on for that day. Unlike the daily meditation sessions that are on waking up, you don't really know what you're gonna get in that session each day. So you don't really know what it's gonna be getting you to focus on. I kinda do wish that they would have a title on it so you can kinda know, okay, I don't wanna really focus on that today, but maybe I'll go and do this other time session. With waking up, I've also been exploring some of the longer meditations. So the maximum a daily meditation will allow you to do on waking up is 20 minutes, but they do have 35 and 40 minute guided meditation sessions in another part of the practice in the app. So I've been trying those out and actually they've been pretty good. Just getting into how I'm feeling quickly here. So we're actually through this heat wave now, so I'm actually feeling much better, but honestly that heat was not fun. I went to bed actually on Canada Day, which was July 1st, very early. I think I was in bed at like 8.30. And what happens is I get pretty severe headaches sometimes with the heat and I'm not sure exactly why it happens. I have my feelings about maybe what's going on. This week of videos is going to be scheduled ahead of time. I'm going to be away from my channel. On the 19th, I also have another checkup with my neurologist. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. It's just checking up on how I'm doing after removing the Lasix or furosemide. So that's kind of what's coming up. I don't have another appointment with my ophthalmologist until I believe it's November actually. So that's quite a ways away yet. If you're enjoying my content, please feel free to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free. It just allows us to reach more people with IIH and migraines. When you're subscribing, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming future content. If you enjoyed this particular video, be sure to give it a like. If you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, be sure to like and follow. And as for now, that's it for today. Bye everyone.